two former Granger County Jail inmates are suing over what is described as forced sex shows they say they were forced to participate in while incarcerated. The lawsuit names jailers, the jail administrator, and the Granger County Sheriff. Six on your side's Kristen Gallant has been digging through this lawsuit. She joins us now with what the attorney representing these two women is saying. Yeah, Lori Bo, the civil rights lawsuit that's been filed in federal court claims that a former Granger County corrections officer sexually abused and exploited the plaintiffs and other inmates for months. The plaintiff's attorney says it's not just the jailer they're blaming. A 57-page civil rights action complaint claims that former Granger County Corrections Officer Travis Hank Davis sexually abused and exploited the plaintiffs and other inmates for months. My clients ultimately thought that the whole situation was, was wrong. Um, they're traumatized. Uh, again, they went in there to just do their time, and that's ultimately not, not what they got. In the documents, the plaintiffs say they were cellmates in a female isolation cell directly in front of the jail's control room where Davis could see them and make comments over the loudspeakers. They claim it started with vulgar comments about their bodies and then demands for sex acts. The plaintiff's attorney, Lance Baker, says this all happened between February through April of 2021. But here we are uh, a year after this took place and Granger County has not done, to our knowledge, a thing about it. I don't know if they've turned it over to the district attorney's office. If they have, why has the Granger County district attorney not sought charges or at least to take these to the, the Granger County grand jury? Uh, for some sort of indictment. Officer Davis was fired in April of 2021. Along with Davis, the suit named Sheriff James Harville, Jail Administrator Chris Harville, and another corrections officer, Leonard Dalton. They know that there is a year statute of limitations on these cases. Um, so I can only um, uh, guess at this point that perhaps they wanted to, to sweep this incident under the rug. It's not like they didn't have the proper information. The claims here range from emotional distress to invasion of privacy and more. Now the suit does say the plaintiffs are asking for over $15 million in compensation and punitive damages. Kristen, thank you. We did reach out to Sheriff James Harville, who tells us all questions will have to go to the attorney representing the sheriff's office. We did reach out to that attorney and have not heard back at this time. We also reached out to Travis Davis, who told us he had no comment.